Hello, sports fans and baseball fans, Stratomatic baseball fans. We got another mismatch Monday for you today. And today it's going to be old school cards versus new school cards. <laughs> We've got the uh, 1985 Cincinnati Reds who were 89 and 72 and were second place in the NL West on the old school cards taking on the 1961 Philadelphia Phillies, who were 47 and 107 and in last place in the NL in 1961. Now, uh, the 1961 Phillies have not been involved in a mismatch Monday yet, but if you recall and if you watched, I had a uh, like a, an elimination tournament that I did um, uh, last summer, maybe it was last summer, like the summer before this current summer that just passed. And um, the 61 Phillies were involved in that tournament. And it was always, you know, the, the beginning matchups for that were a bad team versus a good team, kind of like a mismatch Monday kind of, you know, whittle it down thing. And the 61 Phillies actually won their first round uh, matchup. I forget who it was against. But they did win their first round matchup against whoever it was that they took on. So this is a team that has a history of upending a better team in a, a game or a match or a mismatch as this is. So we will, um, with that, all of that having been said, we will um, say that we are in the Phillies home stadium. It is a one to six single for uh, both uh, left-handed and right-handed hitters. And it is a one to five home run for both left-handed and right-handed hitters. And we will go over the Reds lineup. But before we go over the Reds lineup, we got to tell you who the Phillies pitcher is today. And that is going to be John Buzzhart. Don John Buzzhart in 1961 was 6 and 18 with a 4.49 earned run average, but he only gave up 200 hits in 202 innings. So uh, he will take on the uh, lineup that will look like this: uh, batting first in the leadoff spot. Oh wait a minute! I have got to get the pitcher's hitting cards. I did not do that, so let me go do that. But batting first will be Gary Reedus, and he will be the left fielder for the Reds. Batting second will be Pete Rose, and he'll be playing first base. Batting third will be Ron Oster, the second baseman. Batting in the cleanup spot will be Dave Parker, the right fielder. Eddie Milner bats uh, in the fifth spot. And he will be playing center field. Dave Concepcion will play shortstop and bat sixth. Buddy Bell will be the third baseman, batting seventh. Bo Diaz will be the catcher, batting eighth. And batting ninth will be Tom Browning. And he is a three batting pitcher. So we will get the three batting pitcher card out. And I believe this might be it, and it is. So we will put that at the bottom of the pile for him. And with that, we will get on with the game because I will do the um, Phillies lineup when the Phillies come to bat. So here's Gary Reedus. And he gets a 1-8. Uh, he is facing a right-hander. So that is going to be a walk. Gary Reedus gets aboard with a walk. Buzz Hart allowing the first man that he faces to reach base. And that brings to the plate Pete Rose. Pete Rose, nice on base percentage. And he gets a 4-6. He will be batting left. And so that is going to be a fly ball center field. One away. That brings up Ronnie Oster. Ron Oster with one out, one on. He is a switch hitter as well, so he's batting left. And that is going to be a 4-10. 
and that is going to be a catcher card X. Now the catcher for the Phillies is a 3E5, and that is a 19, probably going to be an out. 19 and 3 is going to be a pass ball, followed by a foul out. So now it's a runner at second and two down. And that brings up Dave Parker, their power hitter. Dave Parker in 1985 had a... Um, he had a 312 batting average and 34 jacks. And he gets a 5-9, uh, and he is a left-handed batter, and that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. And so they are out of the inning. No runs come across, and as promised, I will go over the Phillies lineup now. The Phillies will start off with Tony Gonzalez, the center fielder, batting first. Pancho Herrera, the first baseman, bats second. Lee Walls is the third baseman. He bats third. Don Demeter is going to bat in the cleanup spot and play right field. Johnny Callison will be the left fielder, batting fifth. Tony Taylor will be the second baseman, batting sixth. I believe Tony Taylor's in the Phillies Hall of Fame. Ruben Amaro will be the seventh hitter batting um, or uh, playing shortstop. Then Clay Dalrymple is the catcher, and he's batting eighth. And then Buzz Hart, and Buzz Hart is a one-hitting pitcher. So we will get a one card and put it down where he would be batting. And that brings Tony Gonzalez to the plate, not the, tight, the former tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs. And uh, he gets a five. He might even be in the Phillies Hall of Fame. I'm not sure. Um, but he gets a 5-7 against Browning. And that's going to be a strikeout. So Gonzalez with the K. And Tom Browning, by the way, is the pitcher. I should have mentioned that. He is going to pitch for the Reds today. Tom Browning in 1985 was 20-9 and nine with a 355 earned run average and allowed 242 hits in 261 innings. So there's one down quickly, and Pancho Herrera is the batter. He gets a 210. That is going to be a ground ball to, or no, that is going to be, that is, well, it's going to be an out. Uh, it's going to be a fly ball to center field. So two away, he flies out to center. And Lee Walls is the batter with two down and nobody aboard. And he gets a 2-5, and that is going to be a triple. Lee Walls ripping a triple down into the gap. And, uh, yeah, so that's not good for Mr. Uh, Browning. Although, he does have two outs, so if he can just get the next the batter out, that's it. Don Demeter. Don Demeter is that man, and he has to get out. And he gets a 1-5, and that is going to be a uh, ground ball to the pitcher. So he is out. He goes out one to three, and no runs come in in the first for the uh, Phillies. And we go to the top of the second. Uh, the Reds are up, and Dave, not Dave Parker. Dave Parker got out. And so that brings up Eddie Milner. And Eddie Milner gets a 6-4. He is a left-handed batter, and that is going to be an out. That is going to be a fly ball right field B, one away. The F9 brings up Concepcion with one down and nobody on. He gets a 5-8. He is a righty, and that is going to be a fly ball to center, two away. Two fly balls start the inning for the Reds, and that brings up Buddy Bell. Didn't have a good year in 1985. He gets a 4-2, and that is going to be a single. So Buddy Bell does get aboard. That is the second hit allowed by, um, or no, that's the first hit allowed by uh, Buzz Hart. He also walked a guy. Bo Diaz is up, and he gets a 5-7, batting right, and that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman 
for the Phillies is a two is a two uh, e ten, and that's going to be an eighteen, probably going to be an out. Um, that was an eighteen, yeah. So that is an out, and uh, they are out of the inning. Bo Diaz goes out, and uh, the, the pitcher will be up next inning. But right now, the Phillies have Johnny Callison at the plate, facing Tom Brown. And he gets a 3-8, and uh, that is going to be a strikeout. That is the second strikeout for Browning today on the day. Tony Taylor is up. He gets a 1-8, and that is going to be a single. So Tony Taylor is aboard. That's the second hit allowed by Browning, one away. Ruben Amaro gets a 4-9, batting right. That is going to be a double, and the runner could take the extra base, and let's see if that's something they want to do. Tony Taylor is a running 1-16. to 16. And uh, let's see, the arm in left field for the Reds is a plus 1. It's a 1-17. to 17. We're going to try it. And he does make it. So the double is a run scoring double by Amaro. And Browning gives up his third hit and first run of the game. And that brings to the plate Clay Dalrymple. And there is still only one out. And uh, he gets a 210. And a 210 against a lefty is a double, and that's another run. So. Browning gives up his fourth hit and second run. And that brings the pitcher up. There is one out, so I'm not going to sacrifice. We're just going to see what he can do, if he can do it himself. He gets a 6-8, and a 6-8, and batting uh, right is going to be a... That's going to be a line out to shortstop. So the pitcher lines out, Buzzhart lines out to short. And there is two down. But the runner still at second, a danger up there with Tony Gonzalez up, and he gets a 5-7, and that's going to be a strikeout. So Tony Gonzalez is 0-2, he struck out twice, but the Red or the uh, Phillies do score two runs in the second and take a 2-0 lead here on the 85 Reds. Now remember, the 85 Reds, they won 89 games. That's good. But it's not like they were a division winner with a hundred wins, so they do have their uh, they do have their issues. Tom Browning is up. They're going to let him hit. They're going to keep him in the game for the moment. He gets a four four uh, uh, left handed batter. That is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman is a two e twenty two for the or wait a minute, he's a four e thirty five. That's going to be a sixteen and a four at third base. And that is going to be a ground ball B. So that is an out. So Browning goes uh, five to three. And that brings to the plate Gary Reedus, the leadoff hitter. And he gets a six, eight. And uh, he is going to get a ground ball to the shortstop. Two away. Which brings up Pete Rose. Pete Rose, Charlie Hustle. And he gets a 5'10. And batting uh, right, or batting left, is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the Phillies is a 3E17. That's a 17, probably an out, and it is. So Rose is out, 6 to 3 as well. And the Phillies get no runs in the third. We go to the bottom of the third here with the Phillies still leading 2-0 at 
and looking to add to that lead against Tom Browning, who was very good in 1985. Pancho Herrera gets a 4-4, four, four, and that is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. Their third baseman is a 2-E-22, and that's a 15. Uh, 15 and 2 is a ground ball A. So Herrera goes out 5-3 to three here in the third. One down and Walls is up. Walls gets a 2-4 and uh, that's going to be, holy crap, that's going to be a home. No, it's not going to be a home run. It's a 1-17. to 17. I was assuming it would be, but no, it's a triple. <laughs> So the Phillies get a triple, another their second triple of the game by Lee. And actually, that was Lee Walls before, too. So Lee Walls is two for two with two triples. Lee Walls might just be the MVP for the Phillies here. One down, Don Demeter up. He gets a 4-4. Four, four. That's going to be, I think that's going to be a problem. Um, he is a right-handed batter. No, that isn't. It's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. However, the third baseman is a 2E22, and that is a 14. That may be on his air rating, and it is going to be. And he is a 22, so we'll roll the dice and see what happens there. Uh, 22 and a 4, a roll of 4, is going to be an E1. Uh, Buddy Bell makes a key error and allows the run to score. And so... The Phillies have a third run on an E5 with Demeter as the batter, and now he is aboard at first base. And that brings up Johnny Callison. Johnny Callison gets a 4-9. Four 4-9, nine. Four nine, left-handed batter. And that is going to be a single double asterisk. And so, uh, runner, so runners are now at the corners. And they just, the Phillies are relentless here. And I told you, they, they, um, they did have a, uh, they did win the first round of a, an elimination tournament where they went up against a superior team. And it might have even been a Reds team. I don't remember. You might want to look it up, go back and watch that video. <laughs> I mean, you know, I got to plug it, right? Uh, Tony Taylor is up, though, with runners at the corners and only, no, two outs. Two outs now, I believe. No, no, still one out. And he gets a 3-4, and that is going to be a ground ball, second base, double play. So Tony Taylor hits into a 4-6-3 double play. And so that costs the Reds uh, potentially another run or the uh, Phillies, potentially another run. But they did get one run, and uh, so now they lead 3 nothing. And we go to the top of the fourth with Ron Oster up. Ron Oster with a 1-6 against a righty, and that's going to be a ground ball shortstop. So Oster goes 6-3 to three to lead off the fourth inning for the Reds. That brings up Dave Parker. Could use a home run from him right here, a 6-9. Left-handed batter, and he is going to strike out. And that is a strikeout for Mr. Buzzhart. I believe that's the first one he's had. Of course, you know, back in the day, they didn't batters didn't strike out all the time like they do now. Eddie Milner is up, and he gets a 6-5 left-handed batter. That is going to be a home run. Milner goes deep. And gets the Reds their first run. Buzzhart giving up the hit, the earned run, and the home run. And there is there is two outs, though. And uh, Dave Concepcion is the batter. And he gets a 3-7, and that's going to be a ground ball third base. So he goes out 5-3. But the Phillies do, or the uh, Reds do get a run. It is three to one Phillies here going to the bottom of the fourth inning with Ruben Amaro as the batter. And he gets a one five against a lefty. And that's going to be a single. Ruben Amaro with a hit. And uh, Browning giving up the hit.
Clay Dalrymple is the batter. He gets 3-9 against the lefty. That's going to be a fly ball right. So there's one away. F9. We're going to let Buzz Hart hit. I mean, there are some serious hits on this Browning card, i got to say. 2-4, though, is going to be a strikeout. So there are two down. And um, Browning with his third strikeout, I believe, of the game. And Tony Gonzalez is the batter. He gets a 2-10, and that is going to be a ground ball second base. So he goes out 4-3. After four complete, the 61 Phillies are leading the 85 Reds by the score of 3-1. to one. And in the top of the fifth, the leadoff hitter will be Buddy Bell. And Buddy Bell gets a 6-12 right-handed batter. And that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a, uh, what is he defensively? He is a... 2E21. That's a 5, so uh, let's see. 5, nope, we're going to have to go to the E rating. 5 on an E21 is going to be a an E1. So the pitcher makes, uh, he throws it up into the stands, and so the Reds have their leadoff hitter, Buddy Bell, aboard. He got aboard last time, too, with uh, with a single. And this time he gets on with an E1. And he is aboard with no outs. And Bo Diaz, the batter, he gets a 4-10. 4-10 against a righty. That's going to be a catcher card, X. Hopefully he doesn't get victimized again. He is a 3-E5, though, and that's a 20. That is probably going to be an out, but it is a pass ball on a foul out, so one out, runner at second. And that brings up Browning. And they are going to let Browning hit. This is still a close game. That is a 4-6. He's a left-handed batter. And that is going to be a fly ball center field. So he flies out to center, and that brings Gary Reedus to the plate. Gary Reedus with the 4-10 right-handed batter, and that's going to be a catcher card X. And he is going to be out on an 18 because that is going to be a pass ball followed by a foul out. So Reedus is indeed fouling out to the catcher, as someone did earlier. <laughs> Bo Diaz actually did earlier this inning. So the uh, the Reds do not get any runs. They're in the fifth. They did get a man as far as second base, but that was it. And that brings up Pancho Herrera for the Phillies here in the bottom of the fifth. He gets a 2-7, and that is going to be a walk. So Pancho Herrera is on with a walk. And uh, Browning with his first walked batter of the game. That brings up Lee Walls, who is two for two today with two triples and a run scored. This dude has been dangerous, and he gets a 1-9 against a lefty, and that is going to be a fly ball left field. One away. Bringing up Don Demeter with one down and a man at first. And he gets a 3-5, and that is going to be a double. And um, they are going to... Are they going to send him? I mean, because they could. Um, he does double, though which sends Herrera at least a third. What is Herrera running? Um, he is a running 1-12. to 12. They won't do it. They're not going to chance it. There's only one out. They're going to let the hitters try to decide this. Callison coming up. He gets a 1-5 against the lefty. That's going to be a single to the left. That's going to score at least one run. And let's see if it scores another one. 
and Browning allowing another hit and another run. And um, the runner is Demeter. So Demeter is a running one to 14. You know what? They're just going to keep the Mario round going. They're going to keep keep him at third, and they're going to let Tony Taylor back. He gets a 2-9, and that's going to be a strikeout. So Tony Taylor gets the whiff, Browning with the strikeout. And up steps Ruben Amaro, and he gets a 3-5, which is going to be a walk against a lefty, which loads the bases up. And it is an ill-timed second walk of the game for Browning, which brings up Clay Dalrymple. And Clay Dalrymple gets a 1-9, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. So he goes out 1-3, to three, and the um, Phillies get another run, but they could have done a lot more damage. They could have potentially put the game away, and they didn't do that. It is four to one, however, um, with the Phillies leading the 85 Reds right here. Kind of embarrassing. Pete Rose stepping in and he gets a five eight and he will be batting uh, left and that is a ground ball to the first baseman, one away. So he gets a ground out three. Ron Oster is up. The second baseman, and he gets a 6-6. Six, six. He would be batting um, left. And that is going to be a single. So, uh, Ron Oster getting his first hit of the game. And uh, Buzzhart giving up only his third hit. Dave Parker up. He gets a 5-11. He is a left-handed batter. That is a ground ball to the first baseman. The first baseman for the Phillies is a 4E11, that is a 6. So let's check that bad boy out. Um, 6, 6 and a 4, that's gonna be a single one asterisk. So uh, that is a hit for Dave Parker. That's his first hit of the game. Buzzhart gives up his fourth hit. Buzzhart falling apart a little bit here. There's one out with two men on. And uh, Eddie Milner, the batter, and he gets a 1-6 against the lefty. That's going to be a ground ball second base. Hey, and that's a double play. So the 4-6-3 double play ends the Reds' threat. We go to the bottom of the sixth. And... Um, the batter is going to be Buzzhart. They're going to keep Buzzhart out there to hit. Um, he gets a 4-4. Four, four. He is a right-handed batter, and that is going to be a ground ball. Third base X. Third baseman is a 2-E-22. That is an 18, probably an out, and it is. So he goes out 5 to 3 which brings up Tony Gonzalez, the top of the lineup and Tony Gonzalez. He gets a 5-6 and a 5-6 for a left-handed batter, that's a strikeout. So Browning pitching well here. The, you, you get the sense that they're waiting till he trying to wait till he comes up and then pinch hit for him. Pancho Herrera gets a 6-3 right-handed batter. That's going to be a fly ball to right field. That is Dave Parker, who should be extremely good. He is a 2-E-10. That is a 12, and that is going to be on his card. So um, let me make sure that that is the case. Yep, he's a 2-E-10. 10. 10 is a little high for a uh, an error rating for a right fielder, but um, let's see what that gets him. Oh, did I roll this file? I'll re-roll it. Uh, it's a six. Um, six on an E10 is going to be an E2. So he makes a two base error. And that was Herrera. That was the beneficiary of that. Yeah. So Herrera gets on with an E9. And with him at second, 
That brings up Lee Walls, who's got two triples today. There are two outs, though, and he gets a 1-9 against the lefty, and that is going to be a fly ball left field. And I believe that is it. No runs come in for the Phillies in the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh. The Phillies are ahead 4-1 to here. The Reds have not been able to do anything against Buzzhart. And Dave Concepcion will be the first batter of the inning. He gets a 1-8 against Buzzhart, who is a right-handed batter and that or pitcher, and that's going to be a line out to the shortstop. So Concepcion gets a line out six. There's one down. And Buddy Bell up. Buddy Bell gets a 5-6. That is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He goes out 6-3. to three. And that brings up Bo Diaz. And Bo Diaz gets a 1-6. That's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. And they didn't quite get to Browning's spot. So, but they got, uh, the Reds got no runs there. They will let Browning pitch the seventh. He did pitch enough innings that he could go seven innings. And it is only four to one. The Reds are within catching distance. Don Demeter is the batter and he gets a three eight against the lefty. And that's going to be a ground ball third base. So he goes out five to three, one away. Again, they're waiting until he comes up. Uh, uh, Johnny Callison gets a 6-8. He is a left-handed batter, and he is going to get a walk out of that. Browning is has walked his third man of the game. He's allowed a lot of uh, traffic on the bases. Tony Taylor comes up. He gets a 5-10. 5-10 for a righty. That's going to be a strikeout to away. And Browning with his fifth strikeout. And Ruben Amaro comes up and he gets a 4-7. Four, 4-7 seven. Four, seven for a righty. That is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. That is going to be Concepcion, though. He should be pretty good. He is a 3-E27. He is not good at all. 19-3 and three at shortstop. I mean, I don't want to say he's not good at all, but 19 and 3 is a ground ball, though. So he does go out uh, 6 to 3. The Phillies don't do any damage. In the seventh, we go to the top of the eighth, and the first batter is Browning, and they will pinch hit for Browning. So they're going to bring in a pinch hitter for him. Now, of course, this is the uh, old school 85, so I don't have a lot of guys. They're going to bring in Nick Asaski. Nick Asaski will be the pinch hitter for Browning. He can jack one. He gets a 1-5 against a righty. That's going to be a ground ball short. So he is out. And we will take Browning out of there. So that we know that we're not doing that. That we're not keeping him out there. Um, so he gets out in the eighth. Or his spot gets out anyway. Uh, Redis is up. Top of the order. 3-9. Three, 3-9. Nine. Three, nine. Righty is going to be a... Let's see. That is going to be a single. So Redis gets a single. There is one down. And that is the fifth hit allowed for Buzzhart. Pete Rose up. He gets a 5-4 batting, batting uh, left. And that's going to be a fly ball center field X. The center fielder for the Phillies is... A 2E6, that's not too bad at all. Um, and that's a 16. 16 and 2 is going to be a fly ball A, surprisingly. So that does move the runner to second. But there is now two outs. And 
And Ron Oster is the batter. Ron Oster does have a hit today. And he gets a 3-8, which is going to be a walk. So he does get a board. There are two on and two out. Buzz Hart with his second walk allowed of the game. And Dave Parker, their power hitting right fielder, gets a 2-8. And that is going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. So he goes out, ground out three, and uh, no runs do come do manage to come in, although they did get a little bit of base traffic there, but no runs. And we go to the bottom of the eighth, and in the bottom of the eighth, pitching for the Reds, coming out to pitch will be Ted Power. <coughs> Ted Power. Ted Power in 1985 was eight and six with a 270 year and run average. He allowed 65 hits in 80 innings, and he's going to be the new pitcher for the Reds. And uh, let's see, Ruben Amaro is the batter. No, Dalrymple is. Dalrymple will be the batter, and he gets a 5-4. He is a lefty, and that is going to be a pop-out to second. Pop out four, and that brings up Buzzhart's spot. They will pinch hit for Buzzhart. They're going to pinch hit George Williams. George Williams, the pinch hitter, he gets a 6-5. He's a right-handed batter, and that is going to be a single. So George Williams gets a board. And, uh, yep, his spot gets a hit. And Tony Gonzalez is up, and he gets a 1-5 against a righty, and that's going to be a strikeout. So there's two down. And Gonzalez, i got to say, Gonzalez is 0 for f uh, 5 today with four strikeouts. So he really did not help the Phillies' cause at all. The Hall of Famer indeed. And Pancho Herrera comes up, and he gets a 4-8. He is a righty. And that is going to be a strikeout. So, no runs come in for the Phillies. We go to the top of the ninth. The Reds have to have three runs right here. Um, three runs, and there is going to be... No, um, yes, there's going to be a new pitcher for the Phillies. I will find one in just a quick second here. They're going to bring in Jack Baldshun. He, uh, in 1961, he was 5-3 and three with a 388 earned run average and allowed 90 hits in 100 innings. And the Reds are going to try to score three runs off of him and tie this game up. Eddie Milner is the batter I've got, um, and that is exactly who it is according to my score sheet. So he gets a 4-8. He is a lefty, and that is going to be a fly ball to right field, one away. Bringing up Dave Concepcion. He gets a 6-7. He is a righty, and that's going to be a walk. So Concepcion gets aboard. Remember again, this is the uh, old school '85 Reds, so I only have a limited roster with them. I don't this, you know, I didn't have the uh, extras, extended guys, and everything. Buddy Bell is up. He gets a four-eight right-handed batter. That is going to be a ground ball shortstop B. So there's two away. And Buddy Bell is the uh, batter at, and the runner at first. And Bo Diaz is the batter. And he gets a 4-8. And that is going to be the ground ball out. And that is it. And the Phillies have done it again. 
there's something magical about this Phillies team. They have uh, won a tournament game against a superior opponent, and now they have beaten the 85 Reds. And I'm not really going out on a limb and saying that uh, the 85 Reds were a vastly superior team to this Phillies team. 47 wins, but they don't seem to reflect it when they play people. And so that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.